キリュウが抜けた道島組では幹部の筆頭だったクゼに代わり道島組若頭補佐太平一家組長阿波野弘樹が新たに台頭していた阿波野は橘不動産が持つ空の一つもの情報を奪うべく桐生に橘の身柄を引き渡すよう迫る And we all know the answer to that one カタクナに要求を飲まない桐生に対し阿波野は道島組を挙げて包囲網を狭めていった桐生は兄弟分である錦山の助けによりカムロ町を脱出するがその錦山とも決別を余儀なくされる And we steal his car. 上場界最強と言われる道島組との対立が深まる中それでもカムロ町へと戻っていく桐生そこには桐生の首を狙う強大な力とわずかな仲間とが待っているはずだった。Well, I mean, I've got. I've got some side story friends. I got those going for me. And I don't know how. Well, the. Oh, go, oh cool. Never mind. The chapter's called Ensnared. I, I feel like things aren't going to go well for me. Welp. Yep, that seems not sadistic at all. Although it is weird that that guy wore the exact same outfit here. Just what? You can't just go and round and stare at a random Japanese, every Japanese dude you find. What, you think they all look alike? You racists? Although I do have to wonder how we're going to go about doing anything. Well, I see they're being thorough. Huh. I guess it's a good thing I didn't own anything. Don't mind us, just your friendly neighborhood arsonists. Nothing to see here. Alright, maybe I should, uh. Yeah. <laughs> Let's just back up. Alright, so, uh. Guess who's taking a nap at the office? Oh boy. Hell, you torch my apartment just to tighten the noose around me. Can't risk wandering around here. I need to find a place to lie low and wait for word from Takabana. Yeah, well, nobody told me it was going to be this difficult. I just hope I can find some place that'll take me in. I mean, that's the thing. I can still deal with these dudes. We've got the power. Ain't got nothing to worry about. Oh, you want to fight? You think I give a damn? Cause I don't. Did I just stumble into a side story right here and right now? As I attempt to run away from being murdered after my apartment got torched? I think I just stumbled into a sub story. Oh, she's gone. Maybe it is her, but I could be wrong. Hi, I have severely bigger problems than you do. How may I help? What's that guy up to? Oh, with a oh, with a title like that, why? Like, oh, wow, well, sure. Let me just let me just drop everything I'm doing. Okay. Is it her or not? I can't tell. What are you doing? You some kind of creepy DP creepy dude? Ah, who are you? You startled me. I'm a man very much in danger of being murdered. And yet here I am talking to you. Who I am doesn't matter. 
What do you think you're doing spying on that girl? Better not be stalking her. Stalking her? Ah, no, 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 nothing of the sort. I was just keeping an eye on the girl out of paternal instinct. Paternal instinct? Oh, she's your daughter? Well, that's where things get murky. You can't really be sure whether she's my daughter or not. What do you mean? Explain yourself! Got it. So you haven't seen your daughter in years. Yeah, it's been 15 years since my divorce and my visitation rights were denied. Ooh, that's rough. You know, that's like the one and only place where being a dude is like... Is like an absolute death sentence in that sense. Because like, when, st when it comes to like custody, just about everybody always sides with the mother. Which, you know, most times that's correct. That's not a bad thing to do, but it's not 100% of the time the right call. But I mean, I guess if you have a 95% chance of being correct just by citing the kids with the mother, then I guess you'll just go with it 100% of the time. I do admit it, but the business I was running back then went under. My company was doing well. Nothing spectacular, but it provided a steady income. But I got complacent and failed to see the market turning. When the losses started to mount, I kept pl plowing borrowed money into the falling business, convinced I could turn it around. Eventually, I found myself drowning in debt. My wife must have had enough of my obstinate pride, so she walked out with our daughter. Well, in one sense, okay. I don't see why that had to compl She had to end up getting you denied visitation rights, though. Usually, that's done for, you know, the, the sake of a child's well being. What was she worried you were going to sell her? After that, I did anything I could to redeem myself. I took every job available and bowed before anyone who would help. Thankfully, the booming economy lifted my fortunes. Now I earn enough money to live without any worry or want. Good to hear. If they saw me now, well, might be willing to give me another chance. Well, it's been 15 years, dude. I feel like that ship sailed. Also, are you okay? You seem kind of swollen. I've got no way to contact them. Then recently, I found a girl who's the spitting image, uh, not assuming when she was a child, but grown up. I see, so she's the hostess you were watching. Yeah, exactly 15 years ago, not since we was five years old. She should be around that girl's age now. And if it's not too late, I... And I imagine, yeah, okay, I want to talk with her. You know, like we used to. But the problem is, I'm not sure if she really is Natsumi or not. My doubts are keeping me from taking the next step. The girl who might be your daughter is a hostess, isn't she? I mean, just go to the club and ask her in person. If it were that easy... It wouldn't be suffering like this. Whether that girl's my daughter or a stranger, I need to be emotionally prepared for the fallout. I can't do anything until I know for certain. Well, you'll never meet your daughter by doing nothing. I was hoping you could help with that. Did you go to her club and figure out whether or not she's my daughter? Me? Yes, you understand the situation, and you look to be a man familiar with these kinds of, um, nighttime establishments. Rude. Of course, I'll foot the club charges. Just think of it as a free night out. Well... Please, please help me see my daughter. He's not even sure if she really is his daughter, but he is hurting, and he's willing to pay for it. What should I do? Well, I mean, I guess I got nothing to lose. As long as you're, you know, not giving me a fake story, but I don't know. That seems incredibly well fabricated to be a straight-up fake. I'll go check. I guess I'll just ask some questions to see if everything lines up. I'm Kyoto. Ah, Kyoto-san. Name is Misumi. Uh, or Mishumi. I don't really know. Thanks again for your help. Please accept this. 10,000 yen. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's really a boon to my wallet. Thanks. Girl looks like my daughter uses the name Reika at the club. Please use that money to request her. Okay, got it. Thank you so much for doing this. Hey, I'm Kiru. You know, I go out and I do things that are incredibly emotionally or just, I don't know, statistically really not that great of an idea. But uh, it always seems to work out. Regazan, is it? I'll let her know. Bum, ba -da -bum, ba -da -bum. Man, I gotta be perfectly honest with you guys. You know what really creeps me out the most about these places? These tiny couches! Makes me feel like I'm in a freaking daycare. Everything's just fun-sized. So you say. I sure hope I don't get to ask what your name is. <laughs> Otherwise, I don't know what the hell's going on. Thank you for coming today. Sure. So... This is the girl who might be his daughter. Close up. She does kind of... Oh, it's like, wait, how, how do you know what she looks? It's like, I, I, I guess. Have we met before? Oh, no. This is my first time. My name's Kiru. Oh, that's a relief. Please don't scare me like that. What's a relief? I didn't remember seeing your face. 
Uh, I got nervous because I thought maybe I forgot a returning guest face. Oh, you'd remember mine. I've got main character face. It's okay. We haven't met before. But then why did you request me? Nani? Nani? You asked me by name, so it must mean you knew about me, right? Where did you hear about me? Why'd you request me? Huh. Well, didn't think that part through. All right, she's not going to let this go. I have to avoid making her suspicious. I can't tell her someone might be who might be her father asked me to come talk to her. What should I say? I heard about you from a friend. He told me there's a real cute and charming girl named... Uh, Reiko? Re 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 Look, I don't know how to pronounce your name. Oh, I see. She's happy to hear that. Who? Well, uh, he's just part of a big group. There were a lot of guys talking about Reiko and how amazing she is. Oh, yes. Go me. Guess I've got a reputation to live up to. Indeed. Good! Her feeling's more motivated. But come to think about it, that doesn't really help me at all. So, how long have you been doing this kind of nonsense? Well, not very long. I started after I turned 20 la uh, this last summer. So it'd be around six months. 20? Huh? I assume his daughter's not soon. We should be around 20 years old, too. Could this girl really be Zawan? What line of work are you in? I'm currently working in debt collection and real estate. Oh, you're quite versatile. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> sure. Woo. I'm thinking of moving. Maybe I can ask you for advice. You want to move? Yeah, my room is too small. Might be able to use this to find out more about her. All right. Uh, any roommates? You have any roommates, or do you live alone? There's two of us. I live with my mother. Oh, ho, 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 ho. you and your mother. How nice. We've been in the same one-room apartment since I was a kid. I'm an adult now, and the room is too small for the two of us. That's why we're considering a bigger place. It's all lining up perfectly. I get it. I live in a one-room apartment, too. Uh, well, at least I did. Funny story about what I was doing ten minutes ago. <laughs> It'd be stifling for two people to be cooped up in there. That's how it is with us, Kitasan. If there's a good place for rent nearby, would you let me know? Sure, I will. She's lived with her mother since childhood. Just that. Mm, maybe, just maybe, she really could be the one. If I could get one more piece of evidence that points to this possibility. Your father's not around? I'm not sure if I should even be asking this, but I take it your father's not around? Uh, to be honest, I don't remember him very well. You don't? Nope. My parents divorced when I was still small. Mother left him and took me with her. I never saw my father since. Now I can't even remember what he looked like. What caused their divorce? I think my father's business failed? I heard he was in a lot of debt, too. Boom! Boom! Shaka like a boom! Either this is the same girl, or... Wow, that is the mother of all Kowinky Dinkies. Like, holy hell. They divorced over her father's debt? That matches the story. How long ago was that? How old were you? I was five at the time, so I think 15 years ago? Five, five, that settles it. She has to be the one. Why are you asking me these things? Let's lighten up the mood. There's someone I need you to meet. Eh? Who? Your father! My father? But how? Would you come with me? Just trust me. Okay. I was expecting a, a wholeheartedly nani from that situation, and I got none. Boy, howdy. I sure hope this was the <laughs> this is actually the truth. Oh, man. This is either going to be heartwarming or creepy as hell. He's really here in Kamarocho? Yeah, he's been hoping to see you for a long time. So, where is he? He should be somewhere around here. There he is! Mr. Pants! Well, you might want to stand behind me just in case. I brought your daughter. Okay. Kidrasan, is my daughter really there? Yep, let her see your weird, swollen face. Father? Hey, I can't, I can't see my daughter. I'm too ashamed to face her. I'm sorry, Kirasan, after I asked you to help me, and you even brought my daughter to me, but I can't. Father, it's okay, it doesn't matter anymore. Please, look at me. I am not an animal. I am a human being. Oh, dang it. Ugh. I don't remember very much, but let's talk like we used to when I was little. Rick, I had to beg to leave the club for this. You owe to her to at least let her get a good look at you. Kitter-san, I was refusing to face reality again. It's just like 15 years ago when I turned a blind eye to my business's doom, sank into debt, and paid for it with my family. But I'm not going to run anymore. I'm going to face reality. I'm going to see my daughter. Hey, how's it going? Hello, Natsumi. That's not her name. Nani. Nani. 
No, I'm Reka. I thought that was a stage name. No, that's my real name. I don't want to put up a false front, even for work. No, nope, this is creepy and weird and awkward. Let's just... You know, if I was in this situation, I'd run like hell. Not neither of them, admittedly, just as Kiru. Our backgrounds are so similar. It's almost like fate or something that we met. Right? Strange but true. Just like my daughter, I see her in you. Don't make this weird, game. What she looked like when she was five isn't anything to go on, though. You're so silly. I couldn't find my own daughter, but I've got to know you. Eh, that's even better. Hey! Is this what you wanted? Eh, no worries, Kiro-san. What's life if you can't enjoy it? Oh, uh, this is for trouble I put you through. Goddess of Children Amulet? Excuse me? Mm-hmm. Can I leave now? There's more than one kind, I guess. As Kiru sits here awkwardly. Well, good to see that that sub-story title ultimately amounted to exactly what I thought it would. I le I absconded from my burning home for this? Well, that was ultimately a terrible, terrible use of my time. Anyway, I guess I don't actually have a set destination. Alright, the catfight club. I'm gonna have to do that for money, I guess. Tough screen, obviously. Ain't nobody need to see any more of that. Play the game for yourself, Doyles. <laughs> Plus, it's just going to be a lot of me save scumming. Save, do the thing. If it works, that's great. If it doesn't, well, then I start over. And I got that woman waved to me, so I started thinking maybe I was supposed to actually, like, speak to them. Turns out, not so much. Shut up, you. I've got no time for your shenanigans. Or your shenanigans. Do you have any idea how many shenanigans are going on right now? I really don't think you do. I have absolutely no idea where to go. What, do you want to fight? You think I won't fight you? Oh, you took a swing at me, and you missed. Oh, I do love the brutalization style. What are you even going to do? You know, it's been a really long time since I've done something like this. <laughs> I love it. Ah, oh, good times. Get out of my... Did you just... Oh, lordy, he's got a knife. He's got a knife. He means serious business. No. I have none of that. Nope, 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 nope. I ain't big on people fighting me with weaponry. Okay, that was an interesting exchange. Okay. Sheesh. Here I am trying to find a moment of respite from all of the horrors that have taken place this day. And this is what happens. Disgraceful. Anyway, where's this place? Uh. Oh, right! In retrospect, this is probably what I should have expected. Ah, yes. Here I am in the office. I'm gonna live here now. Uh, but seeing as how no cutscenes or anything of that like seem to have triggered, it looks like, uh, it's actually not the case. Huh. Can't even play the radio game. Ha! Oh boy, do I have an interesting story for the next time the game lets me do that. <laughs> so I, so let me tell you. Ah, uh, here I thought I was gonna be reuniting a family when in actuality, it just got creepy. <laughs> Look, I'm no expert. I'll be the first, second, fourth, and 37th person to tell you that. But you want to know what one of the creepiest things I think you could possibly do? Tell an attractive person you remind them of, their, of your daughter. Like, good lord. Hmm, the Kazama family office. Oh, that woman has decided to not go over here. But if Kashiwagi-san took me in now, the Kazama family will have officially betrayed Patriarch Dojima. Well, that does is make trouble for Kashiwagi-san. I can't come running to him for help this time. Unless he's staring at me through the window. Ah! Holy hell! That guy's so drunk, he's somehow emitting steam. 
Oh, I know. I think that's a vent behind him. Oopsie. Take it easy, sir. Look, I got more important things to deal with. Oh, lordy! Well, I'm not the one who's about to get pass out on the road. Ho! Suddenly, things take a violent turn. Jeez. Kiru just can't catch a break. Yeah, we're in a pretty bad way right now. Oh, good, he actually nicked you! Ah, what a butthole! You're the one who stumbled into me. Do I know you? Can we talk about the untold weirdness of the fact that in all of the fights I've gotten into, it was a drunken man swinging a broken bottle that actually got the first notable injury on me? I'm embarrassed as all I don't remember you. Are you the secretary? Oh, I know you're the bar lady! It's like, you don't. The secretary didn't wear red. I also can't actually, like, make contact with that guy anymore. Well, considering how very barely you know me... Why would you make the... Uh, let me help you or I'll make this matter much worse. What do you get out of this? Out of all potential allies, you're like one of two that I could potentially... Oh, wow, I'm actually hurt in the eye. Owie. Well, all right. Well, that all being said... I mean, I was thinking about stopping it, but I can't leave things there. I'm gonna have to at least check that out. Also... All right, that's the building. I wow, yeah, I forgot this place so freakishly connected. Either way, all right. I mean, I don't know if this is the greatest of hideouts, considering you know they found me here once before. So unless you've got a back room with a futon, I think we're. I think this is a bad plan. Or if you're really good at facial reconstructive surgery, but we're in the '80s, man. <laughs> I think I feel like that guy will be have a better chance of being able to hide me. Nah, it's not that bad. I've cut my leg open on my desk worse than that. Then again, I mean, I, I don't really know what that says about me. My old desk, not this new desk. This new desk has no pointy parts. Anyway, the story is kind of going on. How'd he get here? I stole his car! Eh, worst case scenario, it'll leave it a kind of cool scar. Although, it won't have a cool story behind it. Oh, wow, look at this former Yakuza guy who went up against the whole group. How'd you get that injury? Eh, drunken guy tried to s took a swing at me. Not wrong. 
お互いを自分の身以上に思ってる錦山君はうちに来る時いつもあなたのことを楽しそうに話してた私にはそんな仲間がいないからすごく羨ましい何しても俺はこれ以上あいつの荷物になりたくねえ Chances are his eyes are all swollen too from the crying. Oh, it's not like that surprising. どうやら時間切れってことらしい。時間切れ。なあ。どういうこと。Well, see, that's funny how I got in this mess in the whole place. You know, you know, the first time, yeah. からの一つぼに出た死体の件でな。それを立花が殺に手を回して、俺への捜査を抑えてくれてたんだ。その猶予が切れた。Well. でも濡れ衣っていうことは。I mean, I've broken, I've broken bikes over people's heads, which might have led to, you know, embolisms. Oh lordy, I should probably hide. Uh, shouldn't I hide outside the back door? If there's even a 1% chance of somebody finding me, this is a bad call for everybody. Let's just hope it doesn't involve you getting her. Okay, yep. Yeah, that, okay, that's not how you greet someone. No. <laughs> what do you know? It was a bad idea. Huh. Well, hiding didn't work. Oh, this is gonna be a busy day. Maybe next time, listen to me. If there even ever was, if there even was any, yeesh. You think that's just me? Just because I've got nowhere to go, you think that means I'm gonna give up? And a fool are you taking me for? I'll try not to break your stuff. Okay, never mind. I've already broken stuff. Sorry. It's my combat style. It kind of relies on that. I've got the money. I, I can fix this. You might want to start running yourself. I don't think... I don't know, I think they're probably not going to leave you be. Later! Mm, I'm going to say no to that. So I'm just going to have to beat them all up. Nope. I mean, to be fair, she did choose this. It wasn't a bad call. It was a bad call, but, you know, she still, it was still her choice. A watch? これは。それを私で、こう伝えてくれ。俺のために復讐するのだけはやめろと。Kiru, have some faith in your ability. あいつは、俺の二の前になる。キリュウさん、キリュウさん。Huh. Alrighty then. 
Things have certainly taken a bit of a turn.